What's up everyone? What's up YouTube? Blessings to all, you know. Today coming with a special video to you all and it's an update on my scotch bonnet. You all remember the scotch bonnet I planted in previous video, you know, from seeds. Alright, so these are my Jamaican scotch bonnet update on them <clears throat> and these are the ones that I kept um over the winter in small container and then um repotted them in the spring not even too much early spring but late spring but however these are the ones that was in um four container and um i'm bringing you updates on to um what's going on with them right now they're doing great i'm enjoying them i'm excited to what they're doing and um um you know it's a blessing, that's all I can say. Um, to see these come from one single pepper, you know, that came from Jamaica. And to see what they're doing. And, um, you know, as you know, in last season I planted some in the ground and those didn't do so well. As, you know, they start to grow and bear fruit at the end of the season and then, you know, they frost. So that didn't work. But these one I kept and brought them inside in, in small pots and kept them over the winter so it's you know it's a great thing to see what's going on and um to reap in the rewards you know of the hard work and the persistence and dedication. But yeah, check them out. Beautiful. They are loaded with pepper. There's another one right there. And I, and I can see, or as you guys can see also, how much new blossoms and um, new, you know, young pepper coming up. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go over in it more and um, so you guys can see. Them scotch bonnet pepper. I'm moving around in um, a tough spot, so video kind of a bit shaky, <laughs> but anyway. I have them in the corner of you know sitting next to this um this old car here. This old look a buggy. And then all these um look a mess right in the corner there. Anyway, back to the peppers. But yeah, look at them. Beautiful scotch bonnet. And as you see there these are the pots that they're in. You know. You'll see you guys um seen previous videos that I share. These container that I use. My organic medium that I mix. Come on, my organic component that I've been saving same place on my garden you know all the different fruits and vegetable organic leaves and all that yeah but you can see how this one is like loaded with new um new spring and new growth and um basically ready to grow pepper so that that that, that that's what the ones that was in the ground last season looked like at the end of the season just ready to start beer and start getting frost it was too late so then i um came with the thought of just you know keeping these in the pot and it was a great um decision 
really happy that I made that choice. You know, you know the amount of seed that I can save and replant from these as well. And I even still have two of you know the one that I replant from this group in, in the baby pot still that I didn't plant out in bigger pots this season. So they're kind of small. You know they they, they will um grow blossom but they weren't you know much fruit because you know they're in this tiny pot and they can um I will say this, I honestly they're not getting the best care um and you know they don't have room to do much in those tiny containers. It's just more keeping them from to stay alive. You know, so in the future I may reuse them to replant and all that. But anyway. These are the price. And like I said also that I was um I have been already consuming or eating Caspanit. These are some that um I am been using these was in the freezer. You know and see how perfect they are you know so these put them in the freezer pop one out they're fresh as ever you know what i mean like they never been frozen or you know fresh like they just came from the tree because i realized that they doesn't um soak up too much ice because they're so solid and then some just natural coming off the tree you know wash them put them in the freezer like they stay perfect they doesn't consume consume ice you know what i mean or however that um scientific <laughs> scientific you know um, thing would go but they doesn't soak up any ice let's say you know so which is a good thing you know maybe if it cut maybe that way then it will kind of you know freeze more but if they stay solid you know and they doesn't necessarily get wet in water or anything like that they will stay firm and in the perfect of shape so you can keep scratch on it all you know good few couple of years and stuff in our freezer perfect so all these as you see i'm gonna be picking scratch on it today Yeah, definitely gonna um, pick these, which is gonna just give more room for others to um to flourish. It's already ripe, and everyone that know um habanero that see that these does look like habanero, but these scotch bonnet, you know, they more like the Caribbean version, and they're more flavorful really spicy as well you know more, but more flavorful you know hot spice especially the um, yellow one and who's familiar with them knows that the yellow they are the more uh, mature so more hot so if you want one that's less hot you go for that one right there that green one that, that's not gonna say it's not gonna be super spicy you know because something like that will definitely ruin your pot you're not a super spicy person but it's, it's packed with flavor these scotch bonnet is what but definitely everyone also know that familiar with spice and any spice pepper and all that the seed is always the most um concentrate part as far as what bring the heat you know what i mean so if you cut out the seed then you know use the flesh less heat but yeah this definitely if you cut the, the seed of this in your pot you will ruin your pot depend on the amount Overall, it will have more flavor, more spice, and more, um, you know, more of that sweetness. <laughs> Opposed to these one, these one definitely gonna pack a hot punch. But they so fit yellow already, you know what I mean? You, you get your diff. But yeah, look at that. Nick, for me, Adman Garden and Arts TV. I mean, check out my video on YouTube, check out my YouTube channel. Scotch bonnet all the way from Jamaica, growing in America. Beautiful plant, you know, part of the culture, keep the culture alive.
But yeah, I used to grow more habanero one time, but habanero is just a lot more spicier, more heat, less flavor. You know, these definitely pop more flavor to your pot, whatever you're cooking, meat, you know, jerk. This is one of the most key ingredients in jerk or Caribbean cuisine. Scotch bonnet. Alright? Like, subscribe to my channel. You know what I mean? Nick from Yardman Garden and Arts TV. Stay tuned for many more um, beautiful content. Alright? Before I end it, I'll just show you a little more of my um, my space here. This is just was a hillside that um, was just in bush. So I clean it up this season and make a space. Um, so you know, so I see I get in some tomato in this in the mix as well. Oh yeah, this is just was um, a bushy space between me and my neighbor, and um, you know, I put it to use. You know, you need more work over time, but I'm excited that I use put it to use and get these results. This beautiful tomato, same way. I've been eating a lot of tomato. I reap a lot of tomato from these already. I mean, these are like more the end of it. Got some beautiful um, basil. Scratch bunny it raw. Alright, stay blessed. Catch you on the next video.